Hello, I'm Belinda Coolawine and I am a wearable art artist where I like to create things out of foraged and found treasures. And I would like to say a big thank you to the Sunshine Coast Council uh, for having me a part of the Living Smart program. Alrighty, so what we're going to do today is we're going to create um, a few pieces, a few accessory pieces. Now the first thing that I need you to know when creating something is with a hot glue gun is it's very important to have some water with you because if you happen to burn yourself you just pop your finger or burn straight in there and home and hose. So one of my favorite things to do to create the wearable art is Go to the second-hand shops and find all these beautiful treasures and all of these things that you can turn into really easy wearable art creations. So see I've got some, some rings, $3 one there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pick our favourite one and we're going to choose from our selection of what we would like to create something wearable art and living in this case. So what I've got is this beautiful cyclamen plant and what I'm going to do is just select a few beautiful leaves from it. We're going to go with the round one and all I'm going to do is a little bit of hot glue there just onto the ring like so. Now hot glue you would be very surprised to know it is one of the strongest glues out there. It's not quite super glue but I feel it's, it's up there. So when creating something like this, you just create how you feel. There is no rules or regulations to this. It's just a, an expression of your art. So my, um, my day job when I'm not creating husk and vine wearable fantasticness is I work in a plant nursery. So this is a beautiful little plant that I collected from work before I left yesterday. And as you can see, it lends itself to all sorts of beauty. So from here, what I would do is just put a little bit of something interesting on there. So I'd go into my little treasure trove here, and I think these are very beautiful. Now I can't really remember where I foraged this from because I keep this big stockpile of all this nice stuff. And then I go, ooh, today is the day that you're going to get used. So I like to cut things flush, so just make sure it's quite flush. A little bit of glue. With a hot glue gun, you often get a burn. So what we're trying to do is, you might have noticed that we glued the first one on, then we glued the second over the burn, and now I'm gluing these over the burn again. So that, that way you don't see it. There is also a cold glue that you can use that a lot of florists um, like to use in their creations. It just doesn't set as fast, and I don't feel it's quite as strong. So I'm definitely a big fan of the hot glue gun, and I've made some very cool stuff in my time with it. So something as simple as that, you can go extra crazy and you can add more to it, less to it. It's really whatever the expression of how you're feeling. So yeah, you could just add whatever you like to it. But this is a very quick and easy and really didn't cost a lot to create because what we've got here is just a little bit of hot glue. Um, a $3 ring from our repurposed Lifeline shop and there you have it. And it would be no problem at all if you wanted to just whip up a little set of matching earrings. Again, another repurposed. Pop him on there, put your other little guy on, make him match and bam, there you have it. Over this way are some other earrings that I've purchased that I thought you might like to also see how I've repurposed them. So here was a set of earrings that I found really interesting. So it doesn't matter what they look like or what colour because we're going to add something um, over the top that's going to be earthy and organic. But as you can see what I've done here is I've got a little bit of snake skin and some little berries and we've got billy buttons, some more gum nuts and just take a look at that. Beautiful. This was a fun one. So I just bought these little hoops. They're just a basic hoop. 
and then I've just put some of these little itty bitty succulents on there. Now you'd be really surprised to know that succulents actually will last for about a week without water. So you probably make them fresh the day before or the day of that you needed them, uh, but you would still get quite a little bit of time out of them. So just a repeat, it's just getting something cheap from your Lifeline store or something that you're sick of looking at and then you just attach and voila, you've got some beautiful amazingness. Now if you don't find any jewellery at home that you're prepared to transform or you can't zip down to the local Lifeline store, what you can do is just with a simple hook and one of those earring pins, you can create something as simple as here we have a liquid amber pod. Uh, liquid amber are beautiful. They've got those very beautiful red leaves and they change colours all times of the year. But all you need to do for this one is put a little bit of glue on your little earring pin here. Pop it into one of those holes. Give it a second to set. Then all you need to do is just turn this over with some round pliers. Add your little hook on. Tighten him up. And look at that. Liquid amber earring in seconds. So it doesn't need to be hard doesn't need to be difficult you just need to find things that excite you in life and really catch your attention like you might have noticed that I'm currently wearing some beautiful um, fungi earrings so these are just some fungies that I found on a little walk through the park and I've just attached one of those little earring backs to them like this guy and voila so yes you can make something as detailed as you want, as easy as you like, but just to make things a little bit more three-dimensional and using pieces of nature, um, I find really rewarding. So my suggestion is when you're out next time walking the dog through the park, have a look at what you can find and just start collecting. Look at all these beautiful little celosias. Wasp nests are absolutely one of my favorite materials to work with. So I collect lots of wasp nests. I've got some nice berries over here, little bunny tails. Pampas grass is amazing. Ever since people discovered how great pampas grass can be, you'll find it a little bit hard to get, but nevertheless, if you find some, it creates something magical because it lends itself to some of the most amazing pieces that you can create. Thank you for joining us. Um, I'm Belinda Coolerwine from Husk and Vine, and I look forward to seeing what you create. And on your next walk through the park, remember to keep those eyes on so that you can find a beautiful array of foraged and found treasures.